Round and round and round she go, up and down and around the pole. All that cock gon' stretch her whole, plus she swallows a lot of loads. She's riding on that carousel, that cock carousel. She wanna ride the carousel, the cock carousel. If you hit it raw, then you probably should be scared as hell, the cock carousel. Stay off the cock carousel, young ladies. Stay off the cock carousel. It's not a good look. Don't be out here dick testing. This is a message to all the young bitches out there. To all the young bitches who you know might subscribe or follow me on Instagram and all that. You know? I'm just saying, man, it's not a good look. Don't be a fucking cum bucket. Don't be a cum bag. Because what happens when you have too much guys coming in you, it like it really fucks you up. It fucks with your head. Because sex was like a really emotional thing for bitches, right? Like way more for than dudes. So say a dude's got five girls on the go. It's not as big of a deal as if a girl has five dudes on the go. Because a girl having five dudes on the go, she's having sex with each one of those guys. And you know, she might get emotional attachments to each one. And then she don't know which one to pick because she's had such great orgasms from each one that she's like, fuck, and the orgasms bring out love for these bitches and just the females. Sorry, I didn't even mean it that way, but you know what I mean? For real, you don't need to be out here dick testing. Take a look at all the bitches who've been dick testing. Young bitches, just take a look at the older bitches you know. How are they doing? How they turn out? They had different guys coming in, um, different baby fathers. It's proof. You see them having like two, three different fathers. That's proof they had um, a lot of dudes coming in them. And no disrespect, man. I don't even mean in a disrespectful way. Because I know a lot of bitches that I'm cool with that got kids with different fathers and shit like that. So no disrespect intended. I'm just talking to the young bitches who never went that route. You old bitches, man. Show these young bitches better, man. Instead of acting like you don't know. Like you still want to ride the CC, the cock carousel. That's what they call it on all the YouTuber guys I've been watching from. That's where I got the name from. A lot of YouTuber guys all talk about the cock carousel. And they've all talked a lot about pair bonding. What a man and a woman pair bond. And if a woman's had too much cock, she just can't pair bond. Because she don't know. Maybe I'm not really explaining it right, but I don't know. I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because this is a park with a carousel, right? But remember to hit that like button, share and subscribe. Maddox call. Fuck, I was trying to go live. I was trying to do a live stream, but fuck, they, they wouldn't let me. They said I need more subscribers. So subscribe up, man. I need like a, a couple thousand subscribers before I can do my live streams. So don't just watch the videos, man. Subscribe, hit the comment button, share. You know, drop a comment and shit. You know what's good, man. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Check out my other videos and shit. But for real, you know, the cock carousel is just, I don't know, it's not a good look. Like, I know you bitches, like, you got to experiment, right? Like, you girls are going to be experimenting in life, right? And, you know, find your sexual partners, try out new partners, meet boyfriends, experiment. But try if you can just be a bit better, choose a bit better. Maybe not too much. You know, I understand, you know, it's life, you know. Well, you know like they, a lot of people be saying, um, a lot of the YouTube guys that I watch, they've been breaking down. Like a lot of them say the same shit. So a lot of it's facts, like, and they go by statistics, even though some of them are on different views of other things. And some guys are just some MGTOW or red pill or talking about incels and black pill and purple pill. But they all seem to say the same thing about the pair bonding. That you know, if you've done too much dicks, it's hard to pair bond just because you've been with too much different auras, too much different dudes and fuck, I kinda like, oh yeah, sorry man, I'm just getting all caught up here. These, these folks over there are distracting me. There's actually, on the other side, there's like a, a big bum single mother with big tits. I don't even know if she's a single mother. She's just out here with the kids right now. I've been making judging. But yeah, what I was originally saying is, Females basically their best years of looks and their just best years of their best attributes and their best SMV, their best sexual marketplace value is between 18 and 28. I'm a nice guy, so I'd give them 30. But some people would even go to say fucking 18 to 25. I know some bitches have looked their best that I knew at like late teens. 
I thought they were gonna be banging at 25, but they were roomed at 26. They were roomed. These bitches done. Like, yo, they hit the wall early. Some bitches hit the wall around 30, they say. But it seemed like these bitch hit the wall early, fam. I don't know, though. I'm like, yo, for real, though. Like, your best years between 18 and 28, those are the years you'd be trying to find a high-value male. The high-value male, lock him down with the bread, with the cheddar. You know, if you don't find one, if you fuck up, you know, by the time you hit, like, fucking... 30, you start hitting the wall, that's when I say you should ride the carousel. Cause just having a bunch of guys coming in you, being a dirty little cum bucket, come on man, that's not a good look. Testing out dicks. It probably feels good to have some big dicks, some small, some different dicks, some long dicks, some skinny dick, you know what I mean? You probably want to get a train. You know, I know guys, like, I understand, guys want to have a three-way with two bitches. I'm sure bitches want to have fucking two guys, right? It makes fucking total sense, sure. But you know, you gotta kinda just like, save that box, man. Like if you're gonna be a cum bucket, I'd say be a cum bucket for your husband. Who fucking, you know? You married that nigga and he deserves that shit. For real, for real, man. Just stay off the cock carousel. Sure, you might try one or two guys. Try to keep your body count under five. Young ladies, I know that's too much for a lot of you bitches out there. No disrespect. No, no, no disrespect. It's the world we live in, the times we live in. No disrespect to you bitches with the high body counts. You know what I mean? You probably got a higher body count than me. Real talk. But to the bitches out there who haven't got to that state yet, let's try to keep it around five or less. Two or three dudes, you know, until you find that Mr. Right. It's hard though, I know, but you should try to find that right dude right now, you young bitches. 18, 28, you're in that age bracket, man. Try. Try right now, you know what I'm saying? This is Maddox Call. Peace out, one love. Remember to hit that like button, share and subscribe. And make sure you subscribe, man. I'm trying to get do my live streams on this shit. I'll be going live on Instagram. I'm trying to go live on here, so man, make sure you hit that like button, share and subscribe, man. We out. Oh, one more, do me one more favor, man. After you're done watching my videos, man, at night before you go to bed, just let my videos play. Just put it on autoplay and just let my videos play all night. Just let them go all night. That would be a big favor for me, man. Peace out. One love. And stay off the cock carousel.